a fossil war turtle, which that's so funny because it's in base set, so it's not even a, a fossil card. So don't know what's going on there. Scoop up. In a world full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, grading, selling, buying, one card game remains supreme. One man has the insights you need to know. Watch and subscribe now. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here, and I'm very excited. We have three Pokemon packs. One of them, a big boy, first edition, Fossil. Heavy Pokemon pack in great shape. Hate to even rip it open. This pack looks just untouched. This was much heavier than the other two I had, so I'm going to go ahead and rip this one open. Hoping for a Dragonite first edition hollow. That would be a that would be a big one. Big pull right here. And then we have uh, two more packs here, as you can see. Here is a uh, Scyther pack. Okay, and then we've got a wiggly tough pack. So what's weird about this, as you could see, the the flaps on these are just really weird to me. They're looking fake. They're looking fake. Now again, they do have like these long crimps, but I, I don't see anything online that tells me that these long crimps are normal. Um, so it looks to me like these are going to be fake unless they are a foreign European or something like that uh, kind of pack. So we're probably just going to open one here uh, and then we'll get into the heavy pack. So this is kind of a weird hybrid video of a fake possible fake pack and then a first edition legit authentic pack. So, all right, without further ado, oh gosh, let's get into it. All right, yeah, th this is, oh my gosh, this is almost like, it's almost like glued, glued together here. Yeah, th this is insane, it's literally like glued together. And I'm trying to feel the textures. Whoa, okay, so that's actually cool. Okay, this is definitely fake. But honestly, this is really cool. So here's a Nine Tails base set two foil. Uh, yeah. Okay. You can feel this. This is so gritty. It's insane. This is actually insane. So this is in some ways kind of cool. Like, how often do you actually even see a fake pack like this? And and look at the foil pattern with the uh, almost like. Oh gosh, like speckle, I'd call it. Yeah, it's all washed out. Um, the font is way off here as well. Uh, and yeah, that is actually really, it's pretty fascinating to actually see a fake pack and a fake card like this. I feel like you just don't see this too often. So that's actually really cool. That's actually really cool. Okay, what other fake cards we got? We got a fossil Nidorino. Another fossil Zapdos and really, really bad text here. Um, a fossil Eevee, a fossil, a fossil War Turtle, which that's so funny because it's in base set, so it's not even a, a fossil card. So don't know what's going on there. Scoop up. Oh, this is really bad. A fossil first edition base set Raichu. All right, with the foil pattern, but no foil. This is actually insane right now. A first dead fossil shadow. Oh wait, wait, and we have to forget there are shadowless fossil cards out there now. Um, a Poliwhirl, a Sandshrew. This is so bad. Pokemon Trader, double colorless energy. Unfortunately, that one is not first edition. Um, at first glance, again, because I'm trying to look through the camera. At first glance, I was like, ah, it's a little darker than usual, not terrible, but then once you see it's like so gritty, although this one's not as gritty as the, uh, as the Ninetales here, this is just like extreme grittiness, and this one's not as gritty, see, see the difference here? Um, yeah, th this was an insane pack opening, actually. I'm really tempted to open the other one, um, maybe I'll save that for another day, because I feel like that's actually... That was actually pretty fun. 
Like, if, if I was to pull, like, a fake Charizard, like, base set art, like this, that'd actually be pretty cool, honestly. So, that actually exceeded my expectations for a fake pack, right? Because, obviously, the, uh, you know, there was a lot wrong with this. A lot wrong with the pack, with the crimps and everything, and the flaps, so... Uh, I figured they were fake, of course, but... Never know until you rip it open. Maybe it was some kind of really crazy variant of a pack that we just never saw before. But no, alas, it was fake, but fun nonetheless. Okay, now, moving on to this real pack, which I am extremely, extremely excited for. The Fossil, first edition. Here we go, folks. I have sleeves. Yeah, Beckett, not not the greatest sleeves, but at least something to temporary, temporarily put hopefully a nice hit in. So I'm going to try and open this nicely. That's not nice. I just don't want to ding a corner or something. Okay. Decent enough to where we have the wrapper. Alright, that wrapper is probably like 8 bucks or something, which is crazy. Alright, here we go, folks. Are you ready for Fossil First Dead? I am. I don't think I've really ever opened a First Dead Fossil pack, so this, this is actually insane to me. Alright, uh, Omnite. Okay, First Ed Fossil, folks. I don't know why I'm getting, getting a lot of shadow, so... Try to eliminate that shadow if I can. Eh, that's a little bit better. Hopefully. A first Ed Grimer. I'm taking this slow, folks, because this is what, like a $200, $200 pack or something here? Okay. Alright. Maybe it's $250. For heavy, maybe even three. I don't even know these days. A first Ed Slowpoke. Yes, that is me in this pack opening right now. I am a Slowpoke. I always love the art here as well. A first Ed Psyduck. First Ed Psyduck. It's a good one. A first Ed Recycle. A sad Jigglypuff. And looking at the backs. Mm, yeah, you can see there is some whitening, so that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Let's go from the back of the pack here. Kingler. First Ed Kingler. Okay. All right. A Ghastly. A First Ed Ghastly. I can't remember if Pikachu was in this set. I think it was. There was a fossil. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. First Ed Shelder. That's not great. It's not great. All right. I just can't remember where, like, the energies are and, you know, the whole pack trick. Okay, I was hoping... I saw green, I was like, oh, please don't be the foil. Uh, Zubat. Zubat. All right, here we go. Here we go, it continues on. All right, it is a Haunter. It's decent. It's decent, how's it look? actually looks pretty good and then a, a first set wheezing here on the back let's see how this thing looks trying to catch any foil scratching these things are so prone to foil scratching so I'm just trying to see this is high high intensity light and honestly it does not look bad at all this really does not look bad at all. Mm. 
Okay. Okay. Close it with the back. Oh. Ooh, back looks really good. Back looks really good. Okay. How's the centering in the front? Centering's really good. Alright, let's get that in the sleeve. Alright, so not the Dragonite, right? Not the Lapras. Not the Articuno, I believe, was in here, right? As a, uh, as a foil. Articuno, Lapras, Dragonite, Flareon, or was that Jungle? I think that was Fossil, actually. But Haunter's pretty cool. And honestly, if we could hit a 10 here, I would like it. Th this thing looks good. This thing looks real good. Alright, that was a fun thrill. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube, signing out.